Hey guys, we're back, Buzzer TV on Buzzer. And I'm Alistair. And we're here for Legend of Korra Season 4, Book. Okay, I just said Book 10. <laughs> book 4, Episode 10. <laughs> book 4, Episode 10. Uh, last episode, we had um, some shit about to go man, down. Some shit's about to go down. Your last episode was Zaheer hype. We actually saw Zaheer again. And dude was actually like, like, like Korra was so shook of him. She was like traumatized by Zaheer. But Zaheer, man, the man, like him being him, actually like helped her. Actually helped her overcome the fear of him. Isn't Over it? the fear of him. Uh, this is yeah. so badass. Like, yeah. Yeah. he's like, let it play out, you know? You have limitless power, power and stuff. It was like, oh man, like, like, especially after last season, seeing him trying to kill her and all that <laughs> stuff, and him actually helping her. That like, is killer, like Annihilator, bro. Exactly. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, like, he, he, he doesn't agree with Kubira. So he's actually like, yo, Korra, you know? You and and this. he recognizes that she's a threat. Yeah, he's like, I heard, I heard, exactly. He's like, I heard about rumors about her. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, and then I think Rava's back. I think uh, Korra in the spirit world, she's like, Rava was like, I was always within you and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's so. like, bent the energy to, within the spirit world. And it was, so Rava's back, you know, Korra, like, she seems to finally overcome the fears they hear. And and yeah, and we all know Kubira's working on uh, those spirit energy weapons. So shit's going down there. Uh, at the swamp. At the swamp. Yeah. Some shit's going down. Are we going to see Toph? I don't know, but yeah. I'm hope, hopeful for it. <laughs> I'm really hopeful. <laughs> and, and yeah, man, like, uh, like you know. That's, that's pretty much it, really. That's pretty I mean, much like, it. Like, uh, shit's going down. We're so excited. And we're going to jump right into these episodes. So let's go. Oh. Uh, that's <laughs> that's that's coming up. So shit, Kovira is only planning, eh? Oh man, <sighs> yo, this was okay. Now I see why this episode was called Operation Beifong. Beifong, yeah. Because Operation Beifong, it's like man, we saw we saw every single member of that family be in a action. badass in action. Yeah, yeah. Barring Batar Senior, fucking pussy. <laughs> what did Sue see in this guy? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it was a bit of some player back in the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was clearly the, not the player she thought. Anyways, but we wanted to see Toph in action, and that's what we got. Today. Oh man! You know, even though she's so an old lady, dope. she still has it, dude. Like, I, I, like I mentioned this before, Toph was pretty much the MVP of Avatar. Like, she was any mission, any 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 sort of like situation. Like, Toph comes through. Yeah, like she's just that important of a character. Yeah, and now come like come 60, 70 years. Down the line of she's probably eighty something, and she still is Kicking that ass. caliber of 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 a, of a, of a fighter of of, of 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 an MVP pretty much. And she, and and they, like as an old lady, and as a blind old lady, just just let a that blind, sink. A blind old lady was start like a, like started a, an academy for metal bending. Well, she started that a couple of the, the, the like a while ago. A while ago, but yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's, no, it's but crazy. It's crazy. But like, yo, the way she went in this mission, the way she went in this mission, and like, it just reminded me of Toph of the, of the past. How the way she like infiltrates, the way she she knows where things are just by like her like the things she does, where like she the sound waves she feels from her feet. Or the, the the waves she feels through the earth, and the way she's able to tell that people are lying or not. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was such a good throwback when she, when Julie was like lying, and like we suspected Julie was gonna be a good person at the end. She was just playing along, and that's exactly what happened. Um, so props to Julie for like always like messing around with the spirit and Jiva. Yeah, yeah, our suspicions but, were correct. Yeah, like I, I thought I thought I I saw that coming, but but man, <laughs> yo, Toph was fucking epic this episode. I love the dynamics of Toph. I love I love their personality, and I and it was interesting to see Lin and Toph. There were Lin still held that grudge. Like she might be good with Sue. Like they made up after all those years, but she still had that thing against Toph, her mom, because like uh, apparently we like 
They never she, got to meet her dad. She never got to meet her dad. Yeah. Kanto, she's like, and, and you know, you don't talk. She's very like, when she explains things, she never, she doesn't get into the emotions. Of she things. just, she doesn't have the the, she, the mom she, vibes. No, no, no. Like, like you what know? I'm trying to, no, what I'm trying to say is like, she, whatever she exp- like, we've seen in the past, like when Cora's like, yo, what happened? She's like, yeah, I, I, you know, I threw some rocks at him. This and this, very like just a like this little this, facts, this, just little facts, you know. <laughs> uh, with the same thing with the, with her husband when Tom Bolin asked, she's like, yeah, it, it didn't work out between us. So yeah, that's it, and and that's it, that, and that's all she said. Yeah. And Lynn was so pissed at that. She's like. You never told me anything about my dad. Like I'm pretty sure, like, like uh, let's be real. Toph in a relationship, like Toph's not the easiest person to deal with. So I can see how, like, she she always had failed relationships. But yeah, um, yeah. but you can see Lynn was like, I grew up without a dad, and I really like. I feel like Lynn was really she was she she her emotions weren't like like when Lynn grew up. I feel like her emotions were ignored by Toph because Toph is dismissive in terms of a lot, like. Like she doesn't really like right away. She's like, yeah, yeah, just get a get it over with, or this or that. Yeah, yeah. She's okay. very dismissive, and I feel like, that, especially if, if you're like that to your kids, they 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 tend to like they grow, have grow this to grudge. they grow to resent you. They, they grow to resent you, yeah. and and like she, like and why I think Lynn is so cold right now, you know, It's because like she she grew she grew up in that nature. So Lynn, she's very cold yeah, that makes a lot to of everybody, sense. you know. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of like understand Lynn, and. Uh, <laughs> and and I can I can understand why Lynn was uh like uh why she and Toph like she had a thing against her you know it's like it's like yeah. what the fuck but at the end of the day you know like once they all work together mm. they kind of understood each other and and mm. I did, it, even like even Toph she's like you know what like if you can just find it in your heart just to like not to hate me yeah that that, was, that, was, that would be great that 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 was very like you know that was a deep moment and you can tell like that weighs on her shoulder too mm. you know what i'm saying like yeah. she's not she's not cold-hearted obviously mm-hmm. uh but she also thought about that too yeah no, no i really i i i think that when pop said that it's like as long as you guys can find a way to not hate me i wasn't the greatest mom she acknowledged that mm. and i don't know that, that, that kind of got me sad i'm like shit that, that was like that was kind of deep you know especially with top yeah. she didn't show emotion but deep down she's like yo i like i hope they don't hate me you know so man, that was so nice to see. But but man, that mission was a success. So I was wrong. I thought this was gonna be a total failure. Lynn, Top, Bolin, Opal, they actually went. They actually saved Sue. They saved uh, Julie. Saved Julie. Yeah. yeah. That was thanks to Bolin. Thanks to Bolin, exactly. Thanks to Bolin. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh and yeah, man, and Toph was an integral part of it. She like she came through. Like it's just like it actually went better than planned. We both said like this was gonna be a failure. I thought it was gonna be a complete failure. Yeah. This actually went really well, yeah. like, except really for the really well. Like yeah, sure, but like no, but like overall, like this was just a, a success, and it was it was pretty good. Um, do you, Cora's having a difficult time trying to convince the spirit world. Yeah, what do you think of that? I don't blame them. Yeah, you don't think about it. It's just like yo, like we tried, like we tried it. You're mm. like. We tried to live with the with the real world, and it worked mm. out before. Mm. But now we're having these people try to take our spirits. Mm. And it's just like, why why should we sit down and do nothing? Like we don't want to be a part of you guys anymore. Mm-hmm. If you're not gonna, it's a two way street. It's mm. not it's not a one way street. So if you're yeah. not gonna do this, then screw you. I'm not gonna help you. So you can't blame them. I I agree with that. Like you gotta you gotta like their point of view is very obviously understandable, but it's also tough being an avatar trying to convince like yo. But like they know, but they know the avatar is like good, you know. Like they know Korra's trying to like help both of them out. Yeah, so but maybe... it's not about her. It's just about like the circumstances, and they don't want to deal with the circumstances, you know, because they they took a great damage. Yeah, but I just feel like they should be more understanding of the avatar. They know the avatar is like is looking out for them, but. I do understand them like <clears throat> they're like just minding their own they're like you know what it's not our shit we're not Batu to try to do the oh, Batu try to do some super shit with the harmonic convergence with us with yeah. Batu yeah. Um, like they're like Kuvira's using the spirit energy using us against them and you want to kind of do the same thing we don't want to be no part of that Yeah. it'll be interesting to see how Korra manages to like obviously right now this is not looking good for Korra and it'll be interesting to see how she does she end up convincing them or like or does she even need them? You know, at the end, I think she needs them. Like, <clears throat> but let's let's see let's see let's, let's see how this plays out. I'm mm-hmm. I'm interested in Cora, like how she's gonna resolve the spirit issue stuff. And, um, and also, a special shout out to Lynn for <clears throat> you know deflecting that cannon. That was gonna destroy the crew. 
she was heading towards her direction. And she that was Lynn, yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah that, no, 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 that, that Lynn really like, like, like she really yo. Saved the day. So Batar Junior, the fuck boy, he still kind of cared about Opal. Like that's something I took from this episode. Like when Opal, when he saw Opal there, he's like, yo, he said, yo, we can't go with this. Opal's there, you know, that's his sister. And like even though he he shows like he hates his family, and betrayed them, but like when 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 he saw Opal, he's like, he's like, yo, we can't do this. So I don't know if this is gonna lead to maybe like him a betrayal, or maybe him realizing like he needs his family, or or maybe he thinks like maybe Kubira is just going nuts because that that part like there's a reason why I feel like that part was shown because when he saw Opal, he straight up like said he's like yo I'm not I'm not down for this you know right like we should not be testing this when my sister is there so I thought that was that was a little interesting little thing so. But Tar Jr., like, I got my eyes on you, bro. I just uh, don't like him, but well, yeah, hopefully he redeems himself. Yeah, but I, I still don't agree with him. Yeah, I, still, I still think he's a fuckboy for everything he's done, you know? And the and the um, the last thing is that Korea has, uh, like, plans to take over a public city. In two weeks. In two weeks. Well, we knew she was, she, 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 like, the only threat to her is a Republic army. Yeah. That's why she needs, like, basically nukes. Yeah. And also, it's interesting, the president, the president himself was... Telling Varric and Asami to make the same weapon against Kubira, but then Varric's like, "Listen, I told her I'm not, I'm not making this for you to use, and I'm not going to do the same for you." And and everybody's like, "Yeah," like, even Korra didn't agree. She's like, "Yo, listen, we should be making like like weapons to defend ourselves, not fucking like take weapons to like attack them, you know?" Because that's what I thought initially. I'm like, "Yo, you make something to defend the fucking bomb, you know?" That's yeah. Like, but not fighting fire with fire is a bit dist- yeah like, like, I think a destruction again another fucking presidential move that I just fucking hate <laughs> he sucks I just don't like that guy anyways but but he did agree at the end he's like okay Cora convinced spirits and that we, we saw how that oh went. yeah and shout out to the prince who actually came up with one good idea throughout the whole show oh, to yeah. evacuate the, the citizens yeah so, and then he fucked it up and then he's like yeah I can finally date Cora I do everything for the girls it's fucking funny. He's, in. he's into his bodyguard that dated Cora and he knows about it too <laughs> right <laughs> oh my god but um, the... and Julie, respect to Julie. She was fucking around with the weapons. She 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 stayed true. We suspected that. Kuvira was in a man. She was gonna throw her down. She's like, Yo, get out of my face. Yeah, yeah. But like you know, thank God, like Bolin came and saved her. So shout out to Julie. Joy. You know, what I also loved the, like the choreography of this fight between Kuvira and Sue. Oh wow. wow, that was the most epic thing I've seen. Yo, Sue versus Kuvira was fucking epic. Oh my God, yo, yeah. Sue is. I think she's more talented than Lin in terms of metal fighting. Yeah, that's what I think. I so. think she. I think she. Yeah. She's more talented. Like, even when they fought, sure, Lin was kind of tired, but like, I think. I think Sue is very. I think she's more talented. Like I agree. Look, like that fight, clear. She was yo, up against Kovira, and at I, one point she was like, she put had, up a great fight. She had an upper hand, but like Kovira, uh, Kovira being Kovira, I remember it. But like, man, you have that that fight choreography with them facing off, master disciple, so fucking good. It was it was Kovira amazing. won that one, but hundred percent. But and yeah, and then at the end, Toph was like, you know, I'm 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 too old to be fighting for this shit. Mm-hmm. Basically telling us, hey, I'm th- in this episode, I want to save my kids. I'll do anything for that. You how old I am, but after this. I'm gonna let you guys. He's like, let the kids handle it. <laughs> like, like when she was a kid, she handled like, the fire lord or was that, you know? Right. So like, and then even she said like Katara. She like Katara didn't want to get involved in the civil war shit. Just to get you just gotta let the kids handle it. You gotta let the kids handle it, man. So I, 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 I like it. I like it. The, the Katara and Toph, they're 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 still in touch, you know. I, I'm pretty, like I'm assuming they're still in touch. Like the fact that, uh, um, you know, she mentioned that so. I don't know. It's it was fun to see. I, 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 for me, one of my favorite things about Korra is like the 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 throwbacks to Avatar. You know. Yeah, that's very special. I, I really like that. You know, show. like yeah, like how how she mentioned Katara before, yeah. and, and and then you know this is a throwback, and she she mentioned her times with Aang and Sokka and everybody. So, and and at the end, I like how Toph and Lin made up. So that was, that was it was it was a very sweet moment. I like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, man, yo, this episode was action packed. Fucking love this episode. Yeah, and we got what? How many? We got we have three more to go. Three more so to go. So excited! So stay tuned for the MVP and flop. All right, guys, who's gonna be the MVP of today? And who's gonna be the flop of today? All right, MVP uh, uh, obviously is gonna be people. It's gonna be the rescue team. So um, Lin, Top, Bolin, but like. Who do you think deserves the MVP this episode? Well, I want, first I want to give a shout out to Julie. 
as well. well. For sure, Julie um, as well. Yeah. Also, also, like it can be anybody. I want to give us like also a special shout out to Lynn because the deflecting that cannon was a, a huge. Lynn might be the MVP. That's what I'm saying. Said. Like if it wasn't for her, the city would have been destroyed because the cannon went through anyways. Mm-hmm. You know, and if it wasn't then, for her, the, the the team would have been obliterated. But including then, Appa. That's true. But then, like, Toph also came and helped when when she was about to, uh, like, um, I think I think when Sue got defeated, and then Toph came through and she's like, "You, you, your your metal bending is disgraceful because of you. You make metal benders look like shit, basically." So like, Toph is there, Bolin as well for saving I, you Julie. Know what? I I I think this is a team effort. Man. I was gonna say the Bayfong family. I, th- I think and Bolin and Bolin, <laughs> the Bayfong and Bolin. <laughs> he, yo, he might be part of the Bayfong family. Yeah, They're but the rescue local. team, one hundred percent. I think they deserve. I think the rescue team, man, yeah. they they proved me wrong. They fucking did it efficient. The Bayfongs are efficient group. Yeah, you know they're efficient group family, man. Yeah, yeah. And they know how to get shit done, man. Toph, she's like you know, her kids. The grandmaster, you you don't you don't you don't mess with them. So man, you're the Bayfong family, Team Bayfong, MVP of today. You made us believe. Put clothes on our backs. You sacrificed for us. You the real MVP. All right, guys, you need a flop. Everybody do the flop. I think Kuvira might have earned a flop this episode. I I don't see anybody else. It, like even I, even the prince, you know, he 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 did something good today. You know, yeah, he, hell, man, we should have been a good idea. He should have been an MVP <laughs> candidate. But <laughs> I think Kuvira kind of flopped today. Like like she let she let Julie like even though she found out at the end, but like she kept going. Julie like her success of like the bomb stuff didn't work out. She let valuable plans fail. She let valuable prisoners escape. And I think this was like the first like bad thing that happened to her so far, you know. Like so, I feel like Kuvira in general, like she didn't really flop, but like it's just like she's a leader of like of the of the, of the Earth Empire, and like they let these they let an old lady and her, and 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 a, and a kid and two kids and and Lynn come take take value valuable prisoners. Take Julie, yeah. take everybody, escape, yeah. Yeah. and you know, and the top even gave her a flip their odds. Like fuck you, you're you're, you're a disgrace of <laughs> metal benders. I'm not, that in itself, man. I'm sorry, Kuvira. You know, like this was one of the maybe this is things to come in the future episodes. But yeah, Kuvira, you messed up. You're the flop. You're the flop of this episode. All right, guys, uh, that was a fun episode. We got three more to go. I am so excited for this, so hyped for this, and I hope you guys join us for the last three. But before that, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Alex. Peace out.